All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video on this channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix FPS drops and boost your overall performance, reduce input delay, all that kind of stuff in this video for Chapter 3 Season 2. I'm going to try and make this video as short as possible, but before we're doing the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I also have a Discord server in my description, so if you have any questions or you just want to talk to anybody, that's like the first link in the description for you to join. But yeah, a couple things have changed within... Uh, chapter 3 season 2 actually a lot of things have changed but performance wise there is a few things that you can adjust in the fortnite settings so i'll be going over those and some overall pc settings that you can adjust and optimize your pc so first things first we're going to be starting off with our fortnite settings so we're just going to go down to settings here and these are my overall settings right now that i'm using so starting off with display you guys should know about all this pretty much already so display put this on full screen i have it on window full screen because i'm recording and usually my stuff bugs so Put this on full screen to help with your input delay and your FPS. Uh, resolution, 1920 by 1080 is the base, like like the one you should be using. But if you want to go lower, if you're having really low FPS or like anything like that, put it down one step and it should help you out. Frame rate limit, just put this one above your monitor's refresh rate. Uh, so if you play a 60 yard monitor, put it on 120. If you play on a 144, put it on 160. So on and so on until you get to like 240 or 360. Next up for graphic settings, uh, I play on 150 brightness and one user contrast thingy and then triton Note 10 colorblind mode i found this is the best for this season right now and i've just always used triton Note 10. next up 3d resolution this is kind of like up here your resolution just makes your screen more pixely and all that kind of stuff it does give you better performance it just makes your game look a lot worse so next up view distance you can pretty much put this on anything you want i just have mine on the air textures you can put this on whatever you want as well i just have all my stuff like completely off um and then these are the new settings right here the two new settings for chapter three season two. First one is auto download high resolution textures you want to turn this off uh if you read through the whole thing i'm not going to read through the whole thing but basically in some cases it will reduce your performance same with this one right here like i said you can read through this if you really want i'm not going to talk too much about it next up is meshes i have mine on low usually on a wider on high basically what meshes do it just changes what your builds look like on performance mode so if you have them on low, they look like mobile builds. If you have them high, if you have them on high, it'll just look like normal builds. And then underneath the advanced graphics, uh, V-Sync, turn this off. Show FPS, this is optional. It doesn't affect your performance in any way. And then rendering mode, uh, if you want the best FPS possible, performance mode is the way to go. And then lastly, for our Fortnite settings, is go all the way down and you can find replays. Now I have like all mine on pretty much just because I don't have troubles with my performance and all that but if you're having troubles turn these all off and it will help you you should be able to notice a pretty good difference all right that is enough with fortnite settings i'm going to show you guys all the pc optimization tips that you can follow and increase your fps all right so first up we're going to be checking for updates on our pc now i'm pretty sure i do have an update i assume because i haven't done this in a while let me drag this over here all right so as you can see i do have an update it's installing right now I'm not sure why it automatically installed but i do have one here so check for updates regularly like weekly i suggest just to make sure your pc is always up to date and fixing bugs and all that kind of stuff make it run faster next we're going to be going into geforce experience now this will be the same for like amd users just trying to update your drivers so go into geforce experience for nvidia users and all you're going to want to do here is go to drivers and as you can see i have a new driver version available for me and that's because if you scroll down you can see the current version that you have installed um, right here, I have 457.30. I'll leave a link in the description for it because it is one of the most stable and just best overall drivers. Um, if you guys don't know how to install an older version, I have a video on that. It's like a few videos back on my channel. So check that out after this. But yeah, if you want to use the newest driver possible, which you can if you want, just go here, click download, and it's pretty simple to do. I'm not going to do it in this recording just because it's a pain. Then I'll have to reinstall my one I have now. But it's really, really simple. It's like two steps and you're done so make sure your drivers are always up to date unless you're using an older version next we're going to want to go into our task manager here so just right click on your taskbar and click on your little task manager thing here or you can press Control, shift and escape to open it up quicker so here it is right here i need to make it a little bit tinier what you're going to want to do is go over to your startup tab here and as you can see these are all the apps that i have available for startup on task manager and all of them are disabled right now usually wallpaper engines enabled translucent taskbar is enabled but right now i only have spotify and the reason this is good is because it stops apps from opening when you beat up your pc so it helps it boot up faster and when you're playing stuff they'll be open in the background without you knowing so just check off any enabled ones that you don't use so let's say 
this one i don't use this for example uh it would say enabled you can either right click it and click disable or in the bottom right corner you can click disabled right there and then right here you can see startup impact um wallpaper engine for me is the only one that has a high impact and then as you can see spotify is not measured i'm not really sure what that means but i guess i just haven't measured it so yeah clean up all your startup apps the ones that you don't use and exit out of that all right for the next step we are going to be cleaning out some files that our pc does not use anymore so what we're going to do is switch up percent 10 percent and go in this little file folder and then this should open up as you can see i don't have that many i'm going to delete them and then i'm going to go over to my c drive for me there's just a folder called temp and this is where all my files go not sure why they used to be normal but now they're just in this weird ass file so i can just uh press Control a and then Control d and it'll just delete them all and if this ends up showing up just press uh do this for all current items and skip this and then you can close it to that next step we're going to be pressing windows key and r and this will open up your little run thingy down here then you're going to type in prefetch uh, if i can type press ok and some files should be in here just clear those again and after that you're going to go in your recycling bin and clear out all of the files that are in here next thing we're going to do is go into our nvidia control panel so how to get there here you can either search it up here or you can right click your desktop and click nvidia control panel all right so starting with the 3d settings up here what you're going to do is click the little bottom one here and bring this all the way down to performance for the maximum performance obviously this will make it look a little bit worse but it does favor performance and it will give you an increase in fps input delay all that kind of stuff and then you're gonna go over to manage 3d settings this is one below this one and these ones you can just do whatever i have on here so starting off with image sharpening have this on sharpening off scaling disabled ambient occlusion off uh, i don't know how to say this filtering off anti-aliasing fx aa is off gamma correction off mode is off and then cuda gpus just have this on all or the gpu you are using um dsr factors i have this off dsr smoothness i don't have the option to change this but i just have it off on default low latency mode you're gonna put this on ultra here for max frame rate i just have this one off and then monitor technology g-sync compatible uh down one i have that off as well open gl rendering gpu i just have this on auto select for power management mode gonna put this on prefer maximum performance this is probably the most important one and then preferred refresh rate highest available shader cache i have this on texture filtering on and then all these other ones on and then for texture filtering quality put this on high performance and then trilinear optimization have this on threaded optimization turn this on triple buffering turn this off v-sync turn this off and then at the very bottom one have this on one and then after that click apply after that you can close the nvidia control panel and those are the main things i have to show you guys for this video i didn't want this video to be too long but it kind of was so i have to end it here if you guys want like another video of, like a more in-depth guide then leave a comment down below when i can make another one but yeah that's all i have to share with you guys if you did enjoy leave a like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one peace out